Right now, KFI AM 640's John and Ken adding fuel to a recall drive, targeting three members of the Fullerton City Council. John and Ken accused the council members of being too protective of the police union and of the two officers charged with beating Kelly Thomas to death. KTLA's David Begno live in Fullerton with more on the recall effort underway. David. Micah, if you thought the anger following the death of Kelly Thomas would fade, you are wrong. Three months it has been since Kelly Thomas died. And take a live look behind me. Middle of the street shut down in front of the Fullerton Police Department. About 100 people here right now listening to John and Ken, but they are also signing a recall petition. They want to get rid of three city council members, and on top of that, they want the chief, who tonight is on medical leave, they want him fired. I really, really want them out because they tried covering up Kelly Thomas's death. They that didn't. The they, problem. that was it. I want them out. These are the men she's talking about. Councilman Don Bankhead, the former police chief turned council member Pat McKinley, and the mayor of Fullerton, Dick Jones. They've been operating as though they uh, own the city, and they even said last night that they don't work for us, the people. So I want to know who they work for, and I want them recalled. The protesters say individually they haven't had much success. So they hope this rally really gets their attention. In groups like this, maybe we can get them to care. The 80 or so people who showed up for today's recall rally first organized after the death of Kelly Thomas. Two Fullerton police officers have since been charged for Kelly's death. And the city recently settled a civil lawsuit brought on by two women who say a third Fullerton police officer sexually assaulted them. There's too many lies, too many things that have been swept under the carpet. Today, residents had a chance to sign the recall petition right outside the Fullerton Police Department. Volunteers were even at a local grocery store collecting signatures. They need 10,500 to force a recall election by February. The deadline is February 16th. I am 100% confident that we will gather the signatures in the deadline. And how confident that you'll actually get them recalled? extremely confident. The hard part is getting the signatures. I, I just don't see a lot of people showing up to the polls to defend these guys. And look, don't put it past the people of Fullerton to do it. I did some research in 1994. They recalled three people, one of which Don Bankhead, the same guy they're trying to recall again. The mayor would not talk to me today. Did talk to Pat McKinley, the former police chief. He told me, David, I have done up to this point what I felt was right. We'll see what happens. That's the latest from Fullerton tonight. I'm David Begno. KTLA 5 News. Driving it home with John and Ken. Time now to drive it home with KFI AM 640's John and Ken. We join them live on KFI and on location in Fullerton where a recall effort is underway for three city council members. All of this stemming from the beating death of Kelly Thomas back in July. Guys, normally I would set the scene. Perhaps you'll do the honor since you're on location. We're on Highland Avenue here. We have a block roped off between Commonwealth and Amherst. The Friends of Fullerton is a group that is collecting signatures to recall three city council members, including the mayor, F. Dick Jones, Don Bankhead, and Pat McKinley. Bankhead, a former cop. McKinley, formerly the police chief, who hired most or all of the cops that murdered Kelly Thomas. And the behavior of Jones, Bankhead, and McKinley, if you haven't been keeping track of this, has been atrocious. They have been angry that people come to the council meeting since July demanding answers, demanding explanations for what went happened. Bankhead, McKinley, and Jones should have immediately ordered those cops off duty. They were allowed to be on duty for four weeks after the murder. Mm. All six cops. They should have also ordered Mike Sellers to take those cops off duty. They covered up for Sellers, who was covering up for the cops. And since then, whenever anyone comes to a meeting to approach Jones, Bankhead, or McKinley, to say, what the hell is going on here? They respond with anger, arrogance, disdain. We found out tonight from Kathy Thomas, Kelly's mom, that neither of these three even called Kathy to express condolences after the murder of her son. Yeah, it's a combination of indifference or just outright irritation. I mean, the mayor, on numerous occasions at these city council meetings, just said, hey, you know what? This is a distraction. Mm -hmm. We need to get to other business. They've been shortening the time that people are allowed to publicly speak to the council because they just want this done away with. I mean, 
Why didn't they act human from the beginning? As John said, the other city council members, Bruce Whitaker and Sharon Quirk Silva, called up family members and apologized for what happened and gave their condolences. These three, you know, and two of them are a member of the police culture, which has got to be a big part of this. I mean, Pat McKinley, he was the police chief here for 17 years. He may have brought this culture in here, which has just built up over the years, leading to the beating death of Kelly Thomas, because either he showed indifference or tacit approval of what some of these officers were doing on the street. And it's not just the Kelly Thomas beating. It also includes a police officer who's apparently groping women at will. I mean, there's a long list of grievances yeah. that you will find at the Friends of Fullerton website to show you just how out of control things have been here with the police department and now by association, the city council. Let's Jones talk about the recall effort, if we can, for a minute. Any of this publicly with anyone. They, they refuse to discuss it publicly, you're saying? Yes, they, they will. Because every week you have people in the community showing up mm. at the meetings demanding time to discuss from what we're told these three just sit there basically with their arms folded they refuse to respond they refuse to engage in any sort of normal human behavior the story is is that the, the the police union are great supporters of these three and you have a very insular incestuous culture here where these three have no emotional feeling whatsoever no political feeling for the situation they're completely invested in protecting these murderous cops let's talk about the recall effort which is a large portion of your effort there uh, in support of that what's your sense of the momentum of this thing it's going to happen they're going to get the signatures well, I mean, it's looking pretty good. I mean, they're talking about possibly telling these guys by Christmas that they will be subject to a recall election. They have to gather 10,554 signatures for each of the three council members, but they have a deadline of February to do it, mm -hmm. and they're off to a good start. After a month, they are along the way to the goal where they're confident enough to say that perhaps by Christmas they'll have all, they need a margin of error, probably 12, 13,000 signatures gathered. Mm -hmm. If this pace holds, they should get it done by the end of the year, but even if they don't, then they have another six weeks at the beginning and of the we'll year. And we'll be back if we we have to be back. And the news continues to come out of the city of Fulton. John and Ken, they're live. Thanks. We'll talk to you back in studio, presume, tomorrow. Thank you.